making my rounds this morning, checking the traps for skunks and raccoons. A little f***ers are taking these pails off. I guess better than berries though. So I cleaned up the skunks and the raccoons out of my traps and put the pails back up on top. It's minus what's four right now, a little bit of snow. Quite a change from last week, I'm telling you. But I don't know if these bees know any different anyway. This yard is a little bit light. We put feed on the whole yard. And I think I'm second guessing myself. I should have fed the whole apiary, but I didn't. Pail's empty. So we've taken down a gallon through these last three or four days. That one's half full. That's half full. And their patties are done. Son of a gun. You know, that's a pound and a half patty. Pail's done. Pound and a half patty. We were talking not even a week. Demand on resources. Damn, I should have. demand on resources and we have this cold flightless weather come through and what do you expect the bees need feed to maintain that nest so they are eating Pail's done. Not much for patties left. So there's not much else we could have done for the protein because we made it around to top everything up. So anything that uh, was just about done the first pound and a half, got another pound and a half, and by the looks of it, Last pound and a half is just about done. Which is good, which is really good. Just needs me means we need to get out here. I'm I'm not so much worried about the protein because there's just you know it's just getting to the end of that. We can get that back out right away. We're supposed to get some flight weather tomorrow, maybe some pollen. The sugars I'm worried about. So if they have consumed that pail through the last few days, that means the ones without the pails or are just hefting heavy will be dry. So they'll have to get out and fly to the open feeders tomorrow, start bringing that back in. So it's gonna be curious on uh, the development of this nest through this cold weather. I noticed during the first week where the bees were able to get out and the difference of the first week between when we put the patty out to the last of the colonies we've got to, there wasn't a lot of difference in the brood nest for the ones that got the early protein patty. But now that we are into this dearth, it's cold weather, 
developing out brood nest. It's going to be very interesting to see the difference between... I'll show you what I did. I'm running... well, I'm running my whole operation with patties. So we're looking at colonies with sugar on top. that are eating the patty. That's a pound and a half in a few days. As compared to a few control colonies I had set up here, like these two, four, six, eight colonies did not get any protein. So we're gonna dig into these colonies. to the syrup all the same. Just what does that brood nest look like without having that protein patty down there? And this should be a good test one way or the other. Just my continual check, my continu continual assessment on everything I'm trying to do. Look at that bloody snow. Oh, my goodness. Bring me back that sun and warmth. 